No better way to kickstart the holiday out here in Marrakesh than watching Manchester United cruise to one of our most controlled and patient wins. And we needed that after what happened against Newcastle at the weekend. We needed to see a response. And I tell you what, Manchester United, pretty much at every opportunity where we've needed to respond this year, we have. 1-0 their winners against Brentford. It was controlled. It was patient. The goal was coming in that first half. Deserved. Wonderful goal, by the way. The ball from Anthony. Sabitzer, great, great performance from him. Overall, great team performance. Now, you might say I'm a little bit over the, over the top when I'm saying great there. But Ten Hag wants this team to control the game. We saw Veghorst drop to the bench. So many of you wanted to see that. And I think it did have an impact on that performance. But it was just overall as a team performance there. That's what Ten Hag wants from his United team, to be in control, to be playing with a higher line, to be pressuring the defence, to making mistakes, to creating chance after chance after chance. Anthony individually might have had five or six chances tonight. He might have not got the goal, but Anthony was impacting that game tonight. Uh, who was your man of the match? What was, your, what was your reaction? Because I think Ten Hag will be happy with it. I don't think he'll be over the moon with it. I don't think he'll be using it as the blueprint of the game going forward, of how United need to play going forward. But given what happened against Newcastle, isn't it weird? Like, 10 out of those 11 players, I think Weghorst was the only change, played against Newcastle at the weekend. I'll tell you what, I was not expecting Brentford to sit so deep. I wasn't expecting Brentford to give us so much time on the ball. I was expecting them to come and play like Newcastle did. Play with those front three camped on the edge of our box, Pressing De Gea when we were there. We went a little bit more direct, so we kind of negated that. That's a little bit of pragmatism from Eric Ten Hag. And of course, who else but that man, Marcus Rashford? I think that was his 28th goal this season. <laughs> man, this guy is going to be on, what, 35? Somewhere between 35 and 40 goals. I think that's what Rashford's going to finish on. Great finish. from No, it was, a, it was a perfect Marcus Rashford finish, wasn't it? Foot through it, ball up into the roof of the net. And a really well-worked goal. Anthony dinking it over Sabitza, smart run, cushioned header across Sabitza there tonight. I think played really, really well. I enjoyed watching Sabitza in that midfield role. I just enjoyed watching that midfield together. You see that celebration <laughs> in the goal. Bruno giving him the straight headlock. And I think Sabitza will be happy with his performance. And I think, as I said, pretty much every one of those players will be happy. I want to kind of focus a little bit on Anthony, as I think there's going to be a lot of conversation about him after that game. I don't... It, Anthony adds so much to this team. We are a far better balanced attacking unit with him in it because he stretches the defence wide. He makes that defence. They, they can't stay compact because if they do that, Anthony's just going to have so much time on the ball. So they have to stretch and it creates spaces and half spaces that other players can use. Now, his output, it's still questionable. Of course, it is. This is his first season, but he was dangerous tonight. Constantly dangerous. And I'll tell you what, he was tracking back as well. That's been a criticism thrown at Anthony so far. Uh, was the final product good enough? No. It almost seemed, I'll tell you what, it almost seemed a little bit like Marcus, like he was kind of looking for Marcus Rashford at the back post. You know how he always co goes on the inside on his left foot and you think he's going to try and bend it in? It kind of feels like he was trying to find Marcus and he nearly did once. I enjoyed watching Anthony tonight. I enjoyed watching Man United there. And I'll be honest, dropping Veghorst out of that team made quite a bit of difference. It's not too much of a surprise. I, 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 Veghorst, for a, what, started 19 games in a row? Veghorst shouldn't be starting 19 games in a row for Man United. No way in hell. But we've been a better team because of him. However, that came to a bit of a crescendo against Newcastle. It was the right time to drop him out. Eric Ten Hag did, and it worked. And we were fluid, and we were creating, and we were pressing, and we looked like a, just a, that's what United should be doing at home. Controlling games. That kind of felt like one of those games under Fergie where you play Norwich at home and you just kind of go through it. You never really have to get out of third gear. You're cruising, you're creating opportunities, your defence is doing well. And Martinez again tonight, Varane, defensively sound. David De Gea, I'm going to speak about him later, played well. I think a lot of the control came out of the fact that Brentford didn't press us, which I'm still confused about. Was that down to a lack of fitness? Because it couldn't really have been a tactic. Somebody who I think played significantly better tonight than he did the other night. Scott McTominay. Marcel Sabitzer. Our whole midfield did. As I said, I think it was because of how the game played out. 
Brentford, I, I don't know why they didn't do it. But we benefited from it. And we took advantage of it. And it was that sort of control which you you watch that game and you go, yeah, cool, man. That was it. That was a well-deserved three points for Manchester United. Happy with it. I'll tell you one player I really quite enjoyed watching there today. Bruno Fernandes. It wasn't just the fact that he was playing in a deeper role. It was, I liked his decision-making tonight. Sometimes he sped the game up. Sometimes he slowed it down. And you don't always see that from Bruno. Bruno typically, naturally, speed up, speed up, get the game, move, move, move. Get it up to an attacker at Rashford as, as quickly as possible. It's not always the smartest thing. I think he played well there tonight. I think everybody did. Manasseh, when he came on for Luke Shaw, hoping that's not too much of, I hope that's more of a precaution than anything, because it'll be bad news if Luke Shaw gets injured. But look, I, I've criticised De Gea, but there tonight, I thought he played quite well. As I said, I think it all stems down to the fact that Brentford didn't adopt the high press. That is the way to get at this United team as it stands. In its current form, if you press United in our defence, you're going to force mistakes. If you win those first headers, you're going to create chances when we're out of shape defensively. Brentford didn't do that tonight. Hey, honestly, it's a bit of a head-scratcher as to why they didn't do it, because it's pretty much... A, Newcastle showed at the weekend how to beat Manchester United, and they just decided not to do it. Now, I'm hoping that that Luke Shaw injury... He, I think he went off... Uh, he was holding his hamstring. Now, I'm hoping that that isn't anything untoward because Luke Shaw is important to this team. Progression, being that inverted fullback, adding into a body and midfit, he's, in, he's very important. And it, it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if it is a hamstring injury because these players have been playing every three days for, what, three months now. Kind of be more of a surprise that it hasn't happened up until this point. But Manasseh, when he came in, as I said, every man did exactly what Ten Hag would have wanted them to do tonight. And I think that's the biggest takeaway he's going to have. The players responded. The thing that annoys me is that these players, stop putting yourselves in positions where you need to respond. Don't put in those sorts of performances against Newcastle. It goes to show, in my opinion, it goes to show how much of the game is up there. 10 out of, the, 10 out of that same 11 played there. Brentford had lost one in 16 games. Yes, we were playing at home, but Brentford were a team in form. And they really were poor tonight. Uh, but I think that's partly because of how Manchester United played. As I said, collectively as a team, a unit, defensively sound. Midfield, they were compact when they needed to be. We broke forward fast when we needed to be. It was different tempos, but it was all Man United were Geppetto, right? Just pulling the strings, deciding when to speed the game up and deciding when to slow the game down. That's the biggest compliment I can give to that team tonight. And that, I think, is the compliment that Ten Hag will be giving it as well. It felt controlled. It felt patient. In that first half, there was no clamour to get the ball up towards Brentford's goal ASAP Rocky. You just kind of felt the goal's going to come. If we just keep playing as we're playing, that goal will come. And it did come. And one was enough. I would have liked to have seen United get the second. Fred came on and Martial came on. And Martial, look, that front three there, Martial, Rashford and Anthony, is a front three that I would like to see play between now and the end of the season. We are going to be better because of it. Veghorst, he has served the purpose and he's really helped us. Would he, yeah, would he be starting 19 games in a row for Manchester United again? No, he shall not be. But the change helped. Man United switched it. Brentford dismissed. Newcastle there tonight. What was it? 5-1 they beat West Ham. Did you see some of the goals that West Ham gave them on a silver platter with a knife and fork? What is that about? Newcastle flying. All eyes are on Spurs now. Now that's us three points ahead of Spurs with one game in hand still. It's all in our hands, this top four race. Play like that. Play like we did tonight against Brentford. Top four is ours this season. Now it's on these players to go into that Everton game at the weekend and don't let any drop-off come in. You're at home. Everton will play with that higher press under Sean Dutch. They will be disciplined. It'll be tough. I don't think they got Decore. Obviously, the three-match ban with the red card. But you let me know what you think about that game there. I'm happy with it. Man of the match? Hmm. I wonder if I go, Matt. I'd probably go Sabitzer. Off the top of my head, I think I'd go Sabitzer. I enjoyed watching him. And I also really enjoyed the celebration between... Uh, <laughs> this celebration there between Bruno and Sabitzer. Who was your man of the match? What was your reaction? You let me know in the comments below. As I said, this is going to be the studio for the next week. In Marrakesh, make sure you drop a like on the video. I'm still out here grafting. Like United were grafting there tonight. It's pretty much what it was. A grafting win in the end. But it's three points and a clean sheet and a response that was needed.
after that at the weekend. You let me know what you think in the comments below.